You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace. Well, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV. This week we're going to be talking about filters for our camera. Two specific types of filters. Actually, this is the UV filter and this is a circular polarizer. So first I'm going to talk to you about how to choose the right filter for your lens. It's the size that's concerned. Then we're going to talk about what these two uh, filters do so that you have a better understanding of why you need them. So first of all, um, these come in different sizes. And so, for example, this one here says it's a 72 millimeter filter. This right here says it's a 77 millimeter filter, so it actually has a size as a diameter. And to choose uh, the correct filter for your lens, you need to look on your lens and see what size the uh, lens is. And it's not the focal length we're talking about, it's actually the diameter of the threads on here. And so at the very bottom of a Nikon lens, you can see right here this says 58. It's got a little circle with a slash through it, so that's saying this needs the 58 millimeter filter and so that's how you would know on a Nikon lens on this big guy right here the same thing underneath it right here there's a little thing that says 77 meaning that needs a 77 millimeter lens uh, filter and that's how it goes on there on Canon lenses and on a lot of lenses instead of on the bottom you'll actually see the filter size right on the filter I don't know if you can see it but this right here says 77 millimeters right on it and so that's how you would know the filter size for this lens and so the size of filter that you're going to need, you're going to look right on your lens. It's either going to be on the lens on the front or it's going to be somewhere on the bottom. It'll have the size of filter that you need. So it's not the focal length, but it's the actual diameter of the thread. So you need to know what that is. So once you have that, then you know the correct size of filter to buy. And then all the different filters that you would buy would be that size as long as those are screw on filters. Okay, now these filters here, we have two different types of filters. We have a UV filter, and that's for filtering out ultraviolet light, which is really um, great if you have, um, if you're, especially in areas like Phoenix, we have lots of ultraviolet light that's going to come in. That's going to cause your images to look a little bit low contrast and do some other things. So this is just going to filter all, uh, all of that nasty light out. There's another reason that a lot of people put UV filters on their lenses, and one reason that I highly recommend having a UV filter at all times, and that is if you have your lens and you accidentally bump it into something well, you can scratch or break the lens itself. If you have a filter on the front of that, well, you're going to scratch or break the filter, but you take that off, put a new one on, and you've only cost yourself a filter and not the entire lens. And trust me, uh, filters are a lot less expensive than lenses are. So UV filter is great for filtering out ultraviolet light, but it's also great for just some protection on your lens. Now these guys, these UV filters, these are distributed by Adorama. They're Pro Optic brand, um, and these are great. They range from, uh, this is 18, about $18, all the way up to the big guy right here is $25. So very inexpensive lenses, and these are perfectly matched for consumer lenses. So if you just bought a camera, especially uh, an SLR camera, you need to get a UV filter on that lens right away, and this is going to be a great option for you. Well, there's another uh, lens filter that I really like. These are called circular polarizers, and what they do, I'm going to actually open this guy up here. Um, they're called circular polarizers. What a polarizing filter does is it uh, filters out unwanted light. And so reflections off water, reflections off glass, that's going to filter that out. It also really helps to get skies to look really nice, deeply saturated blue. You can overdo it and make the skies look almost um, purplish or black, so you don't want that. But you can really tune these in. So the way this works is this screws onto the lens, and I'll screw this on really fast to this uh, Nikon lens here. And once that's on there, what you can do, it's called a circular polarizer because um, now that's on that lens securely, I can actually turn this filter, it spins on the lens itself. If I turn this this way, maybe you can see this lettering is actually moving. And what you'll do is, when you have this on your camera, you're actually gonna be dialing this in. So you're dialing in exactly what you want to filter out. Now the circuit of polarizers that we have here, again, these are pro-optic polarizers, and they are different sizes, 58 millimeter, 72, and 77, and they range from $35, to uh, $50 up to $55, so a very affordable option for people that are just starting out with circular polarizers and want to really get some of the benefits of this 
uh, as well. And the nice thing is you can actually stack these so you can put these one on top of each other and so you can have the UV filter and the circular polarizer and they'll screw onto each other just fine and then you can take those off. Now the one thing with the UV filter, I mean the uh, circular polarizer, UV filters you normally just leave them on your lenses all the time. A circular polarizer you're going to want to put it off, use it and then take it off because it doesn't, um, you don't want to use that in all situations specifically when you're indoors, maybe just shooting normal portraits or low light photography. That uh, could um, give you some unwanted effects. So you want to take that off when you're done with it. Okay, well those are our polarizing filters and our UV filters this week. Again, these are from Pro Optic, distributed by Adorama. So they're a great brand. I highly recommend them. And uh, that's what we have for you this week. Well, thanks for joining me. Remember, if you have some gear that you'd like me to check out, please send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.